what is good y'all it's your boy fat mike and do i got a fucking story for you all today so today is july 18th and i just came across some footage from four days ago from july 14th and it is of kamala harris and she there's no sugarcoating this shit this time with them they finally are putting out their agenda their true fucking agenda and that is to cause depopulation they want to eradicate shit like she literally wants to reduce population growth well how do you reduce population growth without harming people it doesn't just happen naturally i think the government is trying to come up with a more humane method of genocide basically i mean look at this shit she literally stated to reduce population check it out when we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water so what children are going to be able to breathe clearer because if you're not born and you push all these females into having abortions what how are those kids going to breathe cleaner air if they're never born and how are you planning on reducing the population growth? Wait, couldn't possibly be where they're trying to convince your children that they are not who they think they are and that they would be so much happier to be something else that they can never fucking be. Oh yeah, if you're unhappy with yourself, it's all about the sex. Yep, your, your whole world sucks, but if you change your sex, you'll be able to have such a luxurious, happy life, right? Because that seems like what they're really trying to push. So the only way that I could see them reducing population growth is by all of the people that they're tricking into thinking, oh, you can be a woman and you can have babies. Men will never have children unless they knock up a female. A female will never impregnate a male. And a male and female will never be the opposite sex. What happened to regular gay pride? What happened to loving yourself? And for you to love yourself would not make you try to be something you're not. Loving yourself would be to respect and love who you are that you were born as, that God created you as. Because all these sex changes are going to do is castrate the idiots that fall for the bullshit. You ain't going to be able to remove your cock and balls and have ovaries put in you. It doesn't work like that. And if they ever did transplant ovaries, it only happened in a natural fucking woman that had all the other parts needed to reproduce. They'd never had any successful experiments done putting ovaries into a naturally born male that had no other reproductive organs. It is absolutely fucking retarded to think about. I mean, you cannot change biology, but who else would try to do something like that? 
hmm, couldn't possibly be anybody else but the fucking government because they think that they are gods just because they can manipulate the weather. I mean, if you really want to go into statistics on that shit, well, the shit they spray up into the sky works complete opposite of what they wanted it to do. So the shit they spray up there is what is really causing global warming because the shit they put into the sky is supposed to bounce the sun rays back out. But really, it's like this. So it lets the shit in. It's like a fucking fish trap or a crab trap. Once the shit comes in, it can't get back the fuck out. So it's like a fucking microwave. The shit pinging back and forth. And the more that it happens, the faster these... I don't know the exact names of the fucking shit, but those particles, they heat up the more that they go back and forth. So therefore, if the shit is staying within the fucking Earth's atmosphere, therefore, it's fucking heating the Earth up. It didn't fucking naturally happen. Global warming is not something that's naturally fucking happening. Just like you wanting to become a fucking woman or a male if you're fucking not born that way. And I'm not going to be re-educated because guess why? The government pushed the educational programs for each generation. So if we was to have to go back to schooling as adults, then that would mean that everything that we learned as a child was wrong. Or is it the shit that they're pushing now that's wrong? Because it all came from the government, right? So I'm not going to be forced to go through re-education and shit. You want that shit? You're going to have to have a fucking war. And you're not going to have a war of words unless you're like, like you want to oppress people just with your words, but then try to demonize them if they want to hurt you, if they want to fight back. Well, don't let your ass, well, don't let your mouth write checks that your ass can't cash. So if you want to push an agenda that's going to harm people, just because you personally, physically are not trying to harm them does not mean that you are not harming these people. So whatever happens to you, any, any kickback from that shit to you, that's your own damn fault. That's nobody else's fault. You asked for the fucking shit. You asked for the hatred. I mean, like, if, 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 if society did not like you already, which even as a straight male, n not everybody accepts me, but you don't see fucking the straight community going and being, uh, forcing people to accept us like the fucking transgender community. So if you wasn't accepted that way before you made the change, what makes you think that you're expected to be treated completely different that you did that? Like, not only did you make shit harder for yourself, you wasn't accepted before. You trying to be something that you can never be is not going to make everybody love you any fucking more than they did prior to that shit. If anything, it's going to push your family and loved ones away because <clears throat> you want to be selfish and you want to act like your decisions don't affect anybody in your life. But every fucking decision you make not only affects you, but it affects the closest people around you. But no, you, you selfish, arrogant assholes would rather sit there and try to claim everybody else to be racist, bigoted, and all this shit. But learn to love your fucking self. Don't expect people to give you love. You, you, it's not it. Res, love and respect is not a granted privilege. It is something that is earned. Just like trust. Trust is not just given at random. No, you have to earn that trust. 
same fucking rules apply. But that is how they are going to push this depopulation agenda to brainwash you into castrating yourselves so you will never be able to reproduce again. That is their agenda. That is why they're pushing for this shit so fucking hard. Because they think that they are gods. They think that science and everything result revolves around what they feel. But it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. I mean, look at China already. They, they basically have outlawed every religion. You are only allowed to praise and worship the Chinese Communist Party. Go fucking look it up. Look at what they've done to the Uyghurs. So this is all for the New World Agenda. They're trying to enslave us again. That is what this all breaks down to. They think that they should have control and say on everything. That's why they're making America a goddamn circus. Because they have to destabilize shit in order to destroy it. And now they have actually admitted to their fucking master plan. Thanks, Kamala. Thanks for putting your nasty foot in your mouth, you ugly bitch. But I'm your boy, Fat Mike, and that's all I got to say right now. But check out the whole video before I dip off. Deuces. And so we set an ambitious goal to cut our greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030 and to reach net zero emissions by 2050. The investment we are announcing today will help us to achieve these goals, and it will do so much more. Because think also about the impact on not only the local economy, not only on an investment in the entrepreneurs and innovators from and in the community, think about the impact on something like public health. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. <laughs> Think of the impact on family budgets. I went home one day and I said, well, what's, why are conservatives bad, Mommy? Because I thought we were supposed to conserve things. <laughs> I couldn't reconcile it, now I can. <laughs>